This video is to describe a work in progress that I'm calling Project Delta Buddy for now until I can think of a better name. The point is to make for tall Delta bots with short Bowden tubes. The Bowden system is what most Delta bots use and it takes the weight of the stepping motor off of the effector and uses this long Bowden tube to push the filament to the hot end. This allows for high acceleration moves because uh, the goal is to keep this very lightweight. Uh, but as you start to make taller and taller delta bots, the tube becomes longer and longer. And after a while, it becomes a problem. As you can see, I've got some management here to keep it you know, off of here as it gets tall. Um, some of the other solutions people have used is to go with a direct drive extruder and put the stepping motor here. Uh, this will allow for a taller delta bot, but it also limits your speed because now you've got all that weight back on there. Uh, alternatively, some people have used the flying extruder where you take basically rubber bands and run them in between the three carriages uh, and suspend the, suspend the extruder above, basically right here. This keeps the weight, the stepper, off of the effector but the weight is still on the carriages. Uh, this, is, this is better than direct drive, but still not optimal. Um, what the goal was, was to add a linear axis that mirrors the height of the Z. Um, initially, I tried to do this with the extra motor drive feature in Repetier firmware. Uh, however, it pauses the printing while, it, while that extra motor goes and uh, this this causes issues so what I've done is I've gotten a basically a second controller and hooked it up to the serial port the second serial port on my do plus rads running repetier firmware and then set it up basically the same way you would a Bluetooth adapter um, and then I've got this cable uh, run into the serial port and then hooked up to the ESP12E model of the ESP8266 family and uh, this drives the stepping motor that's hooked up to my linear axis um, and then um, so basically I've got it set to to where I, in the, the next step will be to mount my extruder suspended from the linear axis uh, above here. Um, as you can see, I've got it uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've got it pretty much set and mirroring now, and while you're printing, this keeps you know, the fan and the camera attached perfectly. Um, at some point I'm going to have to get my uh, speed matching done. Um, also features like auto level and um, anything else that moves the Z that isn't G-code. Right now it mirrors G-code and it mirrors uh, home. So like if you initiate like G0, Z14, you know, that's basically what we're doing here. Now, also, one other thing I got to worry about is when you turn the power off, it does this. Now, uh, this is running RoboRemo, and I'm using it to connect to the ESP12E over the Wi-Fi, and uh, it signals back and forth to update, you know, what I've got going on here.
not everything on this board is being used right now. Uh, some of it is for a robot project, but this is what's driving the Delta Buddy. And this is used, uh, this is a USB to serial adapter and you use it to flash the firmware. And you've got to move the cables back and forth every time you make a change. Uh, I'm using the Mega here as the power supply for it at the moment. Uh, this isn't being used, this isn't being used. I'm using one of these two step motor drivers. Um, now, you can also make a web interface for this, and there's several out there uh, already done in open source that I could probably integrate. Uh, however, it's kind of a limited use because transferring files, it doesn't have very much storage, so you can only Use, use it to print small uh, files. I want to use the SD, so I, I need to find a way to share the SD from the RADs with the Delta Buddy. When you're doing those long 24 hour, 36 hour print jobs, the only reliable way is with an SD. And I can add an SD to the ESP12E. It's got the pins for it. And then I would be able to copy files over the Wi-Fi onto its SD and print over, over the serial port. However, that's not the same as printing over SD. You're still printing over a serial port. Or I can copy over the Wi-Fi to the ESP12E and copy to the 3D printer's SD card over the serial port. But at 115.2, if you're printing something long enough to use the SD, then it's going to take too long to transfer that way. So, uh, what I'm looking into now is using either shift registers or some sort of SPI muxing to share the SD card in between the 3D printer and the 12E. You know, have the 12E signal when a file is being copied and have the 3D printer unmount the SD and then when the 12E is finished with it, tell the, you know, tell the 3D printer to mount the SD card again. I'm pretty sure there's got to be a way, and that would be very useful.